Welcome to Plant Side. In this video I'm gonna introduce you to all infantry classes you can play in this game. And also I'm gonna give you a recommendation where to spend your first 300 certification points on each class. And so let's start with Infiltrator, the Stealth class. This class has two special abilities. First one is to become invisible for a certain amount of time, and second one is to hack enemy terminals or base turrets, so they are usable by your faction. On interesting note, this class has 20% less health than other classes. As for weaponry, on primary slot you can choose between sniper rifles, scout rifles or SMGs. On secondary slot, just like with any class in the game, you can choose between any pistol. For this class in tool slot, you have recon detect device, which will reveal enemies that are moving in the area where you shoot the dart. As for utility slot, you can equip your class with proximity mine or medkit, which is available for every class. Now on to the recommendations. If you want to play close quarters with your infiltrator, I would recommend you to buy automatic scout rifle and scope that you prefer the most. For Vanu Sovereignty, this scout rifle is called Artemis. For Terran Republic, SOAS. And for New Conglomerate, it's called Stalker. But in case you want to be a sniper, I recommend you to buy cheapest bolt action sniper rifle and one mine for your utility slot. For Vanu Sovereignty, the cheapest bolt action sniper rifle is called XM98. For Terran Republic, it's M7. 77B. But for new conglomerate you don't have to buy the sniper because it's already unlocked by default. Now let's move on to the light assault class. Due to fact this class has a jetpack, it can reach most any places and it fills the role of flanker and vehicle destroyer, mainly Sunderer. On interesting note, when you buy some weapon on this class, it automatically is unlocked for Engineer as well, and vice versa, except for Battle Rifle which is available for Engineer and Heavy Assault. For Primary Slot on Light Assault you can use Carabines, SMGs or Shotguns. Also Light Assault, Engineer, Medic and Heavy Assault all can use C4, but when you buy it on one class, it will not unlock on all of them. They must be bought separately. So for your first 300 certs on this class, I would recommend you to buy first two upgrades on jump jets and a brick of C4. Next we have combat medic. Obviously this class can heal friendlies, but it also can revive them. And since reviving dead soldiers is really important in any attack or defense, medic in this game is very important. So the less time you spend on healing and reviving your teammates, the better. Medic's special ability is called Nano Region Device, which allows Medic to heal himself and everyone around him in certain radius for a certain amount of time. For tool slot on Medic, you have Medical Applicator, which allows you to heal and revive teammates. Keep in mind that if you use your Medical Applicator and Nano Region ability, you can heal your teammate almost twice as fast. As for primary weapon slot on this class, you can choose between SMGs, shotguns or assault rifles, which are actually one of the best weapons in the game. However, for your first 300 certs, I would recommend you to buy first 4 upgrades for your medical applicator and nano region device. So let's move on to the engineer. This class is also important for any defense or attack because it can repair any max and vehicle, as well as deploy ammo box which will resupply primary, secondary and tool slot items. This ammo box will automatically give ammunition to anyone, including enemies. So for example, if you are infiltrator behind enemies lines and you are out of ammo, just search for enemies ammo boxes that are dropped on the ground and you will be resupplied in just few seconds. However, on primary weapon slot for engineer, you can use carabines, shotguns, SMGs and battle rifle. In tool slot you have nano armor kit, or basically repair tool which will allow you to repair maxes and vehicles. As for ability slot you have tool which allows you to spawn mana turret or ammunition pack. For your first 300 certification points I would recommend you to buy first 4 upgrades for your nano armor kit and first upgrade for your ammo pack. And so let's move to the heavy assault class. As the name implies this class is hard hitting. Its special ability is to engage its own personal shield which will partially or fully absorb incoming damage. Also while the shield is engaged your movement speed will be reduced. In primary weapon slot this class can choose between LMGs, SMGs SMGs, shotguns or battle rifle, but in tool slot this class can have rocket launcher. Due to this class hard hitting weapons and extra shield, this class is
is perfect for front lines. For your first 300 certs on this class, I would recommend you to buy Nemesis if you are Vanu, Grounder if you are Terran, or Hawk if you are new conglomerate. Those are rocket launchers which have ability to dump fire and lock on on any aircraft. And so comes the last infantry class, the max suit. First of all, to be able to play with this class, you need to have 350 infantry resources. So basically, this class is tank with legs. It has a lot of health and deals a lot of damage, but it moves slowly. So overall, this class has one weapon in each hand, so you can combine two types of weapons together. Also, it's very important that you know that this class cannot drive any vehicle, pilot any aircraft, or man any turret, except for Thunderers and Galaxy's turrets. Also, this class is very important for attacking and defending. Keep in mind that Max class cannot be revived by a revived grenade, and it will take more time to revive this class than normal ones, and it can be healed only by Engineer. In Ability slot, for all factions, by default, you will have Charge, which is basically Super Sprint. But for each faction, there is one more ability. For Vanu Sovereignty, it's Zealot Overdrive, or Zoe, which will allow Max to move faster on each direction, without sprinting. Also, this ability will increase the damage Max deals and receives. Just keep in mind that this ability will last only for a few seconds. For Terran Republic, it's Lockdown. This ability, unlike Zoe, can be toggled. That is, turned on or off without time limit. All this ability does is immobilize the Max increasing its fire rate, reload speed, and projectile speed. As for NC Max special ability, you have Aegis Shield. Basically, you can consider this one as Riot Shield. It will prevent you from using your weapons, but will protect your front. This shield is very similar to Heavy Assault's personal shield, because they both have energy meters, and once they are depleted, shield turns off. So if you're playing Vanu for your first 300 certs, I would recommend you to buy either Cosmos or Comet on your right right hand. If you're playing Terran, my recommendation is Mutilator or Pounder on your right hand as well. But if you're playing New Conglomerate, my recommendation is Falcon or Grinder. And so guys, I hope you enjoyed this little introductory tutorial on all classes. If you have any questions, please leave them on the comment section below.